2016 marked the 38th year of the Houston LGBT Pride Celebration and Parade. Thousands of people gathered in front of the steps of City Hall to celebrate diversity and love. Well, just to kind of come out and celebrate diversity, celebrate being who you are, not living in the closet, not living in shame and fear, you know, just being happy, being with your friends and enjoying life. It's kind of why we, we're all here together today. In the shadow of the recent attack in Orlando, many of those in the LGBT community have a heightened sense of fear for their safety in public places. Mayor Sylvester Turner stressed safety is no issue this year. This year, uh, the days leading up to the Pride Parade have been overshadowed by sadness and 49 individuals who are no longer with us. We are still reeling from the loss of 49 lives in the Orlando massacre. I understand there is concern. There are, e there are people who are scared. Please, uh, but, I'm, but my message is very simple. Let's not be afraid. Let's not stay at home tomorrow night. Let's come out tomorrow in a very major way uh, to be supportive and to stand with Orlando, to fight against, to stand against hate, to stand against those who would engage in terroristic acts against anyone within our country. We represent the most diverse city in the country. Tomorrow night, we can showcase that in a very real way. One message resounded with attendees, show solidarity in spite of fear. I think it, it means even more today than it ever has, that we have to stand together. We can't live in shame, can't live in fear. We need to stand together. I believe that the, the organization is putting this together in the city of Houston is doing a great job of trying to keep us secure and safe. And so we no longer live in shame, live in fear. I think we have to stay, stand, stand up and say, we are here. We're not going back into the closet. We do every day. We've been feeling afraid since we were since we came to terms with, uh, with who we are. But if we don't stand together, nothing's gonna change. So we have to, we have to be here. We are afraid, but we're not gonna be shown down to, back to the closet. Being the second largest parade in the city and attracting well over 700,000 attendees each year, no one has to wonder why people from all over the country don't want to miss the Houston LGBT Pride celebration. This event, um, what really brought me out today, I, I actually traveled from Austin today to be here. Um, I guess the events, the recent events in Orlando kind of made me come out and just be one with the community and uh, to show support and to let everyone know, and myself as well, that um, we will not run, we will not cower, and we will not be afraid. Yeah, I've been going to a gay pride with my mother for the last 15 years in Chicago, and uh, I always supported the gay community. I have a lot of homosexual and bisexual and asexual friends and family members, and uh, I refuse to miss a gay pride or a pride parade no matter where I am. Houston, San Francisco, or Chicago, I'm there. Together with organizations such as Pride Houston and supporters from our local government, Houston can educate the world on issues important to the LGBT community, celebrate culture without fear, and strive for equality.